Hi everyone. I thought today I would share um, the paper sale. I want to show you what papers are on sale and let you get a close-up of each paper. Sometimes it's hard to see what's included in the pack when you've got um, a small image in the catalog. So here we go. This one is called Countryside Inn. It's regularly $12.50 but it's on sale 15% off which makes it like 10 something. And it is all just a couple colors, balmy blue, boho blue, misty moonlight, and night of navy. So all blues with a white accent. That is really pretty. So we've got kind of real tight patterns and real big patterns. Probably some stripes coming up. All right, there's our, oh, I love the little fox. It's like kind of hidden amongst the blue. Real cute. That's super adorable. All right, here's some stripes. I like that this kind of can go a lot of ways, like for example, this little fox could go for a little baby card, really, if you wanted to. And then you've got some patterns for backgrounds, it'll go for any card. This would be nice uh, for a masculine card too. Here, perfect, I mean a navy stripe, you can always use that. Here's some more hidden animals, real cute little birds. Oh, and a cute little bunnies. This is really sweet paper. See now, you wouldn't have noticed these little bunnies and those little foxes, maybe. Maybe you would have. I would not have in the catalog. So real cute. I really like this one. Countryside Inn. Okay, this one, this one's going to get overlooked because of its price point, but I wanted to show it to you because it's on sale now, so the price point's better. And there's a lot in here. Like, look how thick this pack is compared to this pack. This is actually like... I don't know, four packs, let's see. This one has 48 sheets, and normally you get 12 sheets, so yeah, four packs. So that's why it's the price that it is. And this one is called Delightfully Eclectic, and it's really named that way because it's quite an eclectic mix of papers. I mean, black and white swans on the back. Now this one I think will get a lot of use because it's just a bold geometric black and white. And you get four of each, so you get four of those. Okay, let me see if I can pull them out further. I don't want to take them completely out. I might have to. All right, so then you've got this really pretty floral and on the background. So you can imagine this can go on a bunch of different cards for a bunch of different reasons. Pretty flowers and then a big bold pattern. Even big bold patterns are great. Oh, I like that. Look at that. How cute is that one? And they go so nicely together. Super cute. That's probably the new bubble bath. All right, here we got pretzels. I mean, really. <laughs> it's fun. It's eclectic, right? Cute. And then I like these stripes. You can always use a nice stripe. And here we got some fun alphabets. You can even cut these out and use these on a scrapbook page. That's fun. Okay, and hearts on the back. Really cute. All right. Well, oh, and I like this one. Okay, so you've got this. Now there's a punch that's this shape. I used it in it. Here it is right here on my desk. Is it the exact size? Oh, look at that. It is. There's a punch that is both of these shapes, this little quilted kind of pattern. So imagine punching them out and maybe lifting some up and letting some be recessed. Oh, I'm thinking as I'm looking. Okay, so anyway, this is um, quilt, what is it called? Inked and tiled punch pack makes both of these punches. In fact, you know what? I'm just going to get it. It's right here next to me. Might as well show you. Right here. See? How fun is that? I'm going to make a card with that later today. How about that? Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, I like it, the back of this one. Now I like this kind of paper for backgrounds and like maybe tearing an edge. There's a die that makes an edge that looks like it came out of a spiral bound notebook. I think it's called Masterfully Made. And um, this is also great for, I like journaling on scrapbook pages on that kind of paper. Ooh, daisies. Now a lot of these do kind of go with stamps that are already in the annual catalog. Like there's a new daisy stamp. That There's a pretzel stamp, so cool I think it's called. Lemons, there's a citrusy stamp. All right, what do we got? Oh, okay, this one's nice too. Now this one has kind of a earthenware kind of vibe. And then on the back, some more kind of ledger paper. Oh, okay, this one's good too. Look at this navy. Pa okay, nice floral pattern. And then a nice solid masculine navy on the back, like that. Doesn't have to be masculine. I saw a daisy card with this as the background. Oh, cute little strawberries. Nice summer. Summer fun. All right, we got some dots. 
with some more tiny flowers. Are we almost done? One more. Oh, that's a fun one. Big floral pattern. I think that's fresh freesia and black, bold, and another black and white pattern. So anyway, 48 sheets in this. You've got a good variety. And so I think it's a really fun, but it's $30 normally. So if you get it now, you get 15% off and I'm not good at doing math on the fly. <laughs> but anyway, now is a good time to get this paper because it is a higher price point and um, I think it's fun. I think it's got a lot of fun possibilities. Okay, this one I've already gone through because I wanted to open it right away when I got it a few weeks ago. This one is called, um, oh, what is it called? Let me find it. Earthen Elegance. And it's kind of got, this looks like maybe a tile, a uh, copper, copper piece that's been, or maybe a pottery piece, I'm not sure, that's been roughed up a little bit. It's kind of distressed. And you've got some distressed navy. That's a nice little pattern. Looks like a paint pattern. And here you've got a nice little kind of textile looking pattern. Here is like a textile looking thing. So these are really fun, kind of distressed looking. That's fun. I love this deep color. What are they saying this is? Um, pretty peacock. I love how bright that pretty peacock is. Sometimes peacock can be muted. This is a really fun, vibrant. Okay. Oh, I love this one. This looks like misty moonlight with some kind of a maybe a gray granite. Really nice. I like this. Oh, that's fun. Anyway, these are, oh, love this. Okay. Very fun papers. This is fun too. It kind of reminds me of a vase that I have. Okay, so, oh, that's fun. So this is a nice paper pack too. Love this one. Also on sale right now, 15% off. This one I haven't opened yet because I just got it yesterday. I actually placed my order five, um, a few days, five days maybe, before I found out that the paper was going to be on sale. <laughs> Isn't that the way it works? I mean, it always does. Usually, I mean, we do get a heads up but I was just a couple days before the heads up. Oh, am I cutting my paper? Oh, I did, look what I did. Don't do what I do. Okay, this one, this first one off the bat here is kind of fun because you can imagine doing, cutting that up in card bits and pieces. I can't believe I did that. I don't normally do that. Usually there's like a little more give. This one was so tight. I should have been more careful. Okay, so anyway, this one is called fresh as a daisy and you've obviously got these fun daisies and there's a daisy stamp set that goes with it. Here's a real pretty piece. I bet that's moody mauve. And then we've got this pretty flower field here. This is probably pebbled path. Ooh, that's pretty. A lot of the new colors in here like I'm seeing copper clay. Um, that's probably peacock. Really pretty. Ooh, look at that. And they're calling that um, garden green mixed with peacock. This looks like fresh freesia, moody mauve, bubble bath, wild wheat. Pretty, that's probably wild wheat right here, another new color. Oh, look, look at this one. Let me take this one, needs, this one needs to come out completely. That's fun. Sometimes when I get these papers, I just want to copy them in a painting. Because this looks like really fun. I've got paint. <laughs> Alright, and then oh, one more. This one's pretty too. Let's take that one out. Oh, I don't think I saw the back. Copper clay. Here we've got a really pretty daisy field in the back. Right there. Really nice. That's Azure Afternoon. Another new color. So this pack is called Fresh as a Daisy, and it's got a ton of new colors in it. So that's a good one. I think I showed this one in another video, so it's already open, thankfully. <laughs> I'll have to mess up another one. But I really like this one, and I don't have um, a huge fishing need in my life. Because, I mean, my brother will go fishing, but it's not a huge thing. So there's a stamp that goes with this. But if you want that feel without investing in the entire stamp set, think about just investing in the paper, because you can make really cute cards for some fishers in your life. And then if you don't have any fishers, the backs are great too. So I really thought this was fun. I've got a lot of fish here. I don't need the stamps. I mean, I'm not trying to say not to buy stamps, but you know what I mean? You get the sweet, the feel of the whole suite with just the paper. And then if you're done, you only needed a few of the fish for a scrapbook page. I mean, my kids have, I have some really cute pictures of them doing the fishing derby when they were in scouts and I'm way behind in my pages. So if I save some fish for that, the background pages are so good. Also, the other side, the B-sides. I don't know which is the B-side. 
fish or the <laughs> anyway really cute these are little flies fishing flies but then the back look at that I love this like a ticking fabric more flies it's kind of fun as it is but then the back so you've got these really nice neutrals on the backs that really spoke to me I love this one this one is water so even though I am not doesn't have any fish on it so I'm thinking this would be great as a peaceful water scene um, we go to the lake so water cards a scrap of pages are great for my whole family anybody would deserve a birthday card with a watery feel to it so I love that one and here's a map same idea good for anything here we've got a fishing pole it's a really fun pattern though I, I like how they did it and then the back you've got this kind of a net which is really fun and here's more fish these are really cute so I like them. I think they're going to be great on some Sister Bay scrapbook pages. Look at this nice canvas. And so I think it's a great paper pack. I love the tone of it, the kind of muted, soft feel. It's really pretty. It's kind of watercolory fishies. Really cute. I should say that one's called Let's Go Fishing. This is, I'm going to say the same thing on this one. There's a whole stamp set that goes with this one too. But um, I thought it would be fun to just use the buildings and cut them out instead of the stamped buildings. And um, I might get, I might end up with the stamp set on this one too, just because it's super fun and I really like it. But if you didn't want to get the whole suite and you wanted the look of it, the paper's the way to go. And um, this one I do, I feel like I would get a lot of use out of the stamps. So I'll probably end up with the stamps on this one. But for now, I just have the paper. And look, at you got a really fun tiled background. Looks like an old ceiling. And you've got these shops, <laughs> this fun little... Um, ice cream, little pastries, this little ramen noodle bowl. Reminds me of my son, actually. He's a ramen noodle. Little, he loves these little bowls of noodles. I don't know if they're called ramen noodles always, but anyway, he likes those. And my daughter and I like to bake, and oh, who doesn't like ice cream? So I love these little shops, these little teeny tiny ones. But then on the back, you've got this really fun pattern. I love these. There's some big shops. Here's some more. Real cute nice stripe I think I've got one more or maybe two more not one more books that's good and I like these little paint little art shop I like that and then this is really fun anyway it's a really fun paper pack that one is called Les Shops Les Shops Les Shops can't speak today okay this one I've opened too because this is really fun. This looks like collage and I love doing collage. So it's got little scraps of torn paper, but it looks like they've photographed it. So it looks like it actually is little scraps of torn paper, but it's flat obviously. And then here you've got layers of torn paper and look how fun that is. So if you ever made a card with lots of layers, this looks like that. It really does. I mean, the photography is amazing. And if you put that on a card front, people would might actually, until they touched it, think that that's torn layers of paper. So I really like this one. This one is like um, just really fun. Here's the torn flowers. So cute. More torn paper. I love this one. So imagine cutting this one and you could get six card bases out of that. Really fun. Here's some mountain range <laughs> out of um, I just I really like this one it's I have like I said I journal I do an art journal like a mashed up art journal and I do this in there so to me when I saw this it was just like I was drawn instantly towards it I'm gonna just like I have this on my desk so I might as well share it like here this is a torn mountain range I've got kind of a torn I don't know what that's supposed to be. I've got a crazy volcano for a bad day I had. But anyway, the whole collage idea I love. So I just feel like this paper, if you're into collage, this paper is amazing. So I love this one. Okay, this one I also love because we really like to do a lot of, we have a lot of space fiends in my house. Um, we like to watch all the rocket launches together. <laughs> My son tells me all about that. It's the such and such one and he knows all about it. Anyway, really fun sky papers. And also we went to see the eclipse. We traveled down to Southern Illinois to get a good view of the eclipse a few years ago. And I have some really fun pages of us with our eclipse glasses on. <laughs> and I saved the glasses because I have always intended to do a scrapbook page. And I think this, um, this would be fun for that. So really bright colors. I love the backgrounds, so fun. Um, really cute for boys' birthdays. Look at this one. Planets. 
Anyway, I think this is really cute. We're girls' birthdays. My daughter's into spacey things too. But then, even if you don't need space, these backgrounds, like I said, are just really beautiful anyway, with or without the space. Some of them are very spacey, obviously, but the backs are not so much. So, anyway, really fun paper. Maybe that some of those star papers would be good for camping. All right, I've got another one. This one is called Zoo Crew, and I love this one a lot. I think it's adorable. These animals, I'm going to have a hard time. I don't, like, I love these backs, but then I would want to save every animal. <laughs> They're so cute. I like them colored in. Like, the paper is heavy enough weight where you can add color to this, but you could leave them non-colored, too. They're just super cute. And I've seen a few people coloring a lot of these in, and I've seen them where they left them alone, or just colored a few. It's really little pops of color really cute. I love these little animals. Now there's a stamp set that goes with this and some of the animals actually have dyes and some of them don't. Like the turtle has a dye. I think one on each page or two on each page has a dye. Like I know this tiger has a dye and the turtle has a dye. But there's a few on each page. They're super cute. Just more and more cute animals and really great patterns on the back sides. So <laughs> I like him. He's like chill. Here's a hedgehog painting. There's kind of like every hobby too. You've got like all kinds of activities going on, musical instruments and various hobbies. And then, like I said, these black and white pages are amazing. I might get another pack. I know there's a die for the alligator. Another pack so that I could have the black and whites by themselves and then pretend these are not on the back so that I could cut them. <laughs> Anybody else have a problem cutting into some of these cuties? They're so cute. Look at this koala with the cupcakes. I love the armadillo. There's a book called Armadillo Rodeo. It's a children's, kind of a children's book. Really pretty art that I like. The artist who draws the illustrations and we have that book and it's a kid, kid's book that we read. So if I gave someone an armadillo card, they would know what I was talking about in my family. Okay, there's some small ones. Those are the 12 by 12, all 15% off. Um, these are the six by sixes that are on sale. And this one's called Inked and Tiled and it goes with those, um, part of a suite that goes with those punches I was showing you and there's a stamp set that goes with this as well but the paper you don't need to you know you can have it all by its little self it's great colors and it's got a vanilla base little streaks of white so if you wanted to use it with white you could but it also looks really great on a vanilla card base and I like that when they give us some of those options for a vanilla card base so anyway this is called inked and tiled and just really pretty earthen colors um, this one I've this is my second pack of this. I've used this one a lot. Actually, let me see if I have a little open pack. <clears throat> this is all that I have left of this one, but it's got really bright and bold, fun colors. You've got some that are multicolored and then some that are just tones of one color. Look at these stars. And I've used a bunch of this, but um, you get the idea with this one. Really bright and beautiful is after appropriately named. So multicolored on some of the sides and then single color. Then you got some circles. Let's see. This is that bubble bath and look at the cute little, I love this one. This is fun. Gradient. Anyway, really cute and um, yeah, I had to get another pack of that one but I don't want to open it because I've kind of got a mess of it on my desk already. But I needed another pack. And then this one I just got. Let's see if I can carefully open this. This one does have a lot of... There, can't mess up that one. Okay, this is just all gingham. And it's in like kind of the colors that are coming added to the in-core collection. You know how they come out with in-colors? And they also added some new colors to our core collection this year. So this one is the new pecan pie that was added to the neutrals. This is berry burst that was added to the brights. We've also got the, um, I think this is the peacock, which was added to the regals. Here we have lucky limeade, which was also added to the brights and blueberry bushel, which was added to the regals. So you've got kind of some new colors that were added to the collection. And gingham, you got a larger gingham on one side, and then on the back side, a smaller gingham. So I like this one too. This is going to be, get a lot of use out of that one. So those are the papers that are on sale through the month of June. So take a look at the paper packs, take a look at the sale. I'm going to put a link in the description in this video so you can shop the sale. Thanks for watching. Bye!